Hi everyone, uh, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to chat about a few really, really, really important things in terms of cooking and prep and everything else. So, here's a few really important tips. Now, this is all for my upcoming uh, free two-week kickstart. This lets you know how to prep your kitchen, materials you need, how to clean out all that junk that you don't want around anymore. And sometimes you're not even sure, should I have this or not? I want to get healthy. I want to be healthy. What are the things I need? This takes you through everything that you would need in an easy and simple way. It's fantastic. So, um, so you can click, I'll include the link. You can click on it and just download this free two week kickstart to get you going in the right direction. There's meal guides, there's exercise, there's so many things involved here. But I'm going to talk about the kitchen and prep things because sometimes that's the most important. If you're not having or you're not sure how to use some of these really healthy tools, how are you going to keep going with it, right? So here is one of the things with cast iron cooking. This is a really important thing. So here is one of my cast irons. Um, this is just a small one. I often cook eggs or something in this. And oftentimes people don't cook with cast iron just because they're not sure what to do with it. Um, cooking is different here. You will have to prime your cast iron before you cook, so oil it up, make sure it's seasoned properly. There are some great tips, just YouTube videos, um, that you can get some information on that, but basically using olive oil or avocado oil or some type of you know, good viscous oil can help season the pan so your stuff doesn't stick to it. Otherwise, the food that you cook is gonna stick to it. So I often cook eggs in a pan like this. I will put some avocado oil in there, saute greens like spinach, chard, kale, and then put some eggs in here and just cook it. Super easy, simple to do. Now, one of the things to know here is that you're gonna to have to cook it at a lower temperature than you would like a non-stick pan. The reason is being is because the, the metal and everything else, it transfers heat differently. So if you cook it at a high heat like Teflon, you're gonna burn whatever you're cooking and it's gonna to stick to the pan and pfft, nobody likes that. So, prime your cast iron, get it ready to go, and then cook things at a lower temperature. The other really cool thing about cast iron is, well there's a lot of really cool things, but one of them is, is that you can actually use this for baking as well. So if you wanted to make a cornbread, you can put the cornbread right in here, slide it right in the oven, bake it, boom, ready to go. Isn't that awesome? I mean, so multi-purpose, you know, I pan here. Now one of my favorite things to do to prime my cast iron is a special little trick and this is beeswax. So I actually use beeswax and I'll put a very, like the lowest heat on this and this can be even after I oil it. I'll put some, you know, olive oil in here and then take a cloth, rub that in and then take beeswax. This is just a little, um, you know, cube of like pure, pure beeswax. It smells like honey. Smells good. Um, and low, low heat here and just rub this on there. Let the beeswax melt a little bit on the cast iron pan. That will provide a little coating and will help even more to prevent your food from sticking. If I'm doing scrambled eggs for my kids, um, they will not like eggs that are burnt or sticky or, you know, oh, it's brown. I don't want to eat it. Okay. Kids, right? So coating it with this beeswax does a really great job of making sure that you are priming the bottom of the pan so nothing sticks at all. So little key tips like this are really, really important when you're trying to cook new things or be healthier. Now one of the other important things for cast iron that I ch chat about so often with women is that cooking with cast iron actually adds more iron to the food that you're eating. So it will infuse your food with iron. Amazing. Totally amazing. So this is just Lodge brand cast iron. I think I got this at Target. I, I mean, Target has some cast irons. So they're relatively inexpensive, especially compared to some of their pans. Its cost comparison is pretty equal there. This sucker is going to last you for a really long time. They're tough. They're durable. If you have seen the movie Tangled, you can use it for self-protection as well. Um, and it adds more iron to the food that you're eating, which for women is very, very important. And the type of iron that it adds to the food that you're eating is very bioavailable. So you're actually going to be absorbing that iron, that extra iron into your body. So some really great tips here, cast iron, cooking with cast iron, using the beeswax, everything else, fantastic, fantastic information. Now this is just, you know, a sample of what is in the two, free two week kickstart. So, so many people I notice are trying to get healthy in the new year and do things and a lot of people just aren't set up for success. 
So click on the link that I'm going to attach. You're going to be able to download a ton of information. If you have questions, let me know. I'd be more than happy to kind of troubleshoot some things for you. Um, and if you would be willing to share this video, I would appreciate it so much because so many women need this information. Simple, simple little tip that can add iron to your, to your body very quickly and easily. Anemia is the number one issue for women worldwide. Anemia. And that can be greatly helped by cast iron, magic little friend here. So that is my tip for the day, um, cooking with cast iron. Please share the video, ask me any questions, message me and comment below. And everybody have a great day. Um, and I will chat with you guys later.